Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a good one for you today. We're going to show you how to make a carousel out of any module that you tend to use with your Divi site. And this will work with any module. We've got a carousel here every five seconds or so. It's going to rotate. We've got a little call to action module there. We've got a little contact form here and when you put your mouse over it it's going to stop give them a chance to fill it out and send it off take your mouse off it's going to resume rolling around and I've got a little blurb module right here and you can add a link obviously if you want to and like I say this will work with any module you care to use we're actually using a free plugin for this today called Divi Supreme Lite and here we are we've got Supreme Modules Lite there just click on the little button It'll take you to this page which tells you all about it. Right down at the bottom here, there's a free download button for you. So go ahead and download and install that. Once you've done that, we'll get started. Okay, I'm gonna enable the Visual Builder so we can do this on the front end. Once loaded, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna simply delete our little module here and we'll start from scratch. I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside I've got a row with two columns. Green tab for the row. I'm going to delete our little modules here and I'll just start from scratch. First thing we want to do is actually create the modules that we want to save to our library to use on our carousel. So let's hit the little black button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray ones. Let's pop a little call to action in there roll it up so you can see what's going on here. Won't spend much time styling these. I'm going to knock a bit of uh, text off of there. I don't want quite that much in there. And let's put a link in for a button. And like I said, I'm going through these fairly quickly. Let's just change that background color too. Let's make it a blue. That's great. So there's one. And like I said, I'm going through these very quickly. If you want to learn how to build these modules or you're not sure, have a look at our Divi Basics playlist. I'll go through all of these on those. Okay, let's add a little contact form perhaps. And again, I'm just gonna leave it as the generic there. I'm gonna put in a bit of a background. I'm gonna take the spam protection off there. Give it a purple background. And we'll give it a bit of padding all around. As we all padding just put in the number it'll put in the pics for you hit the little chain there it'll do the opposite side so we've got a little call to action a little contact form and let's perhaps have a blurb over here like I say you can use any module you want it's entirely up to you again I don't want quite as much text as that and let's use an icon Get a bit of a background here. And let's just make my icon white. And we'll make my text light in color. And I'm going to pop it into the middle. And we'll give this a bit of padding too under spacing. Alright, well we've got three little modules there. Now what we need to do is save them to our library and that's a standard feature with Divi. Any module you create you can save it to a library and you can make it global in case you want the same styling for each one. To do that I'm just going to click on the module, black tab for the module. Over here we've got a little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. Click on it and we can save it to the library. We'll give it a name. I'll sort of car one for carousel one. Call yours what you wish. It's a good idea that it means something to you there. Okay, that's that one saved. We'll do the same for this one. We'll give it a different name. And similar for this one too. Great, well we've got those saved to our library. You can delete this section now if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave it there for a bit of space at the bottom of the page. Okay, so we save these to our library. Where's the library? For anybody that doesn't know, go down to your dashboard. Go down to Divi. 
and there's Divi Library down here. Simply click on that. And here's your library. There's Carousel 1, 2 and 3. There's the ones I did for the previous one. And if you look over to the right hand side here, we've got some short code. Now normally with a Divi install you're not going to see those. But like I mentioned earlier, you want to install either Divi Supreme Pro or Divi Supreme Lite, the free version, it'll work. Once you've installed it, you'll see it right there in your menu. I've got the Pro on this site, but it'll work just as well with the Lite version. Here's a site with a Lite version. And what you're going to need to do is go down to the Divi Supreme when you've installed it. And here you're going to find your extensions on the General tab. You want to make sure that you've got Enable Divi Library Shortcodes enabled or purple like that. Switch to the right. Once you've done that, save your changes. And that's when your short codes will appear here. So I've got three short codes here. I'll start with number one over here. I'm simply going to copy it. Just click on it and copy. Or Control C, however you like to do things. Let's go back to our page. And we'll add a carousel module. Divi comes as standard with all the light grey. I'm going to go down. And there's our slider module. All the purple ones here, all the bluey purple ones, the ones you get with the pro version. With the free version, I think you get about 22 as well. With the pro version, you get about 45 or 50. I'm going to use a regular Divi slider module for this. I'm going to delete that second slide. OK, for our first slide, I'm going to go in there. I don't want a title. If you do want a title in there, just leave your title there. Let's move this over to the side so you can see what's going on. For me, I don't want that, and I don't want an extra button. I just want to put in my module. So if we go down to the body down below in the text here, let's get rid of all this text. And you can just paste that short code in here. Control V to paste. As you can see, it's popped it in there. I'm going to change that background to the same blue as we've got for our little slider there. I'm going to save that one. I'm going to duplicate this one with the two little squares. We're back in the main slider settings on the content tab. I'm going to hit the two little squares to duplicate it. Now if we look at our layout, our library shortcodes, they actually increment up. So it says 138, 139, 140. I've cloned this. I can simply go into the second one now. Change that to 39 so we get the next one. There's that one in there. I'm going to simply change that background color to match also. I'm going to save that one. Again, content back in the main slider settings. I'm going to clone it one more time. And I'm sure you figured out what I'm going to do next. Go back up into our text. Change that to a 40. And let's change our background color. Great, let's go to our main carousel settings again, slider settings. I just want to take a bit of the padding away. I'm going to go over design and go to spacing. I'm going to take a bit of padding away. I've got too much padding top, bottom, left and right. So I'm going to put a zero in. That will shorten it up a bit. I'll hit the chain, do the same for the bottom. And let's do the same for the left and right also. Unless, of course, you like it the way it is. There we go, so that way they're kind of filling out more of our little slider carousel there. What we want to do next is I want to automate this. I want this to roll around automatically. So in the main slider settings, design, let's close up spacing. We'll go down to the bottom, you'll find animation. And there's automatic animation. If you don't see this here, chances are you're in one of your slides. If we go into one of the slides, this question always comes up and design. There's no animation at the bottom of that. So make sure you've saved your slide settings. You're back in your main slider settings. Design right down the bottom. Here's where you find it. I get this question every time we do one on a carousel. And flip it on. I'm going to make mine every four seconds, maybe 4,000 milliseconds. And it's going to roll from each slide. I'm going to leave that off because I want them to be able to put their mouse on it and stop it revolving so that they can fill out the form or read the text and click the button. So I'm going to leave that to off. We should actually be good to go. I'm just going to finish off. I think I'm going to just put a little bit of box shadow on the bottom of it, lift it off the page. 
you can go to town with the design here you can do your arrows and your buttons if you're using buttons but I'm going to leave mine just exactly like that so let's save our changes now we'll exit the visual builder save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder and there we have it there's our little carousel every four seconds it's going to roll around to reveal each of those modules and like I say you can use any modules you want I've just used these for demonstration purposes when you put your mouse over it it's going to stop revolving so you can read it you can click on the button and go wherever it is you want to go take your mouse off it's going to start resuming again and the same with this you can put your mouse on it it'll stop fill out the form send it off if you need to and that's a great little feature to have on your site really easy to do and a carousel with multi modules like that just takes up best use of real estate by having three or four little modules in the same little section there so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful once again we're using the Divi light plugin for this today links below the video just click on the button and download and install it so once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day